I don't care if this game has playoff implications. You already know what it is. A TANK BOWL! This game will go down in infamy. Not only as the second longest game in Gorge Ball history, and is probably the game that conceived the shot clock in Season 4, but it is also a game with some heinous ref ball. This should have been ruled an illegal shot, especially since Jake was hit with the same penalty earlier in the game. Also, this block was definitely an illegal one, yet the game went on anyways. However, I am willing to forgive this ref ball, because Jake clearly showed that he didn't plan on winning. Luke ends up leading 5-1, to one, but he begins to slowly choke it away. I swear to god, Luke, if you don't win this game, not only will you be eliminated from the playoffs, but I will consider you the worst player this season. Thankfully, Luke eventually puts the game away. Honestly, this game was winnable for Jake, but like always, he threw the game away. Don't worry, Jake. Just win out and you're in the playoffs. Wait, Jake still has a chance? It appears that Sully has decided to actually try and win this game. It may be because a loss tonight will eliminate him from the playoffs, so this game is a very intense one, as all division rival games should be. Mistakes were left to a minimum. In fact, Sully held the lead for most of the game, to the point he was up 3-1. He is left with this gimme shot. Well, it can be blocked, at least nothing bad should happen after this play. Right? One. Oh, the ball gets some air! Oh my god! Orange oh my god! One. Oh my god. Oh, the fucking win of the century! The self-inflicted dagger in the back. You started the season one and one and then stumbled so hard that you would lose five straight. But fear not, Sully was obviously thinking long term. Just lose one more game and you secure the easiest schedule next season. As for Ben, a way more impressive stat. Started the season 2-0, to losing three straight, to rebounding to two in a row. Since the Wooga Conference is very top heavy, you secured the second seed. Not bad for your first season. No time to dwell on this, Zack forfeited the game, and Eric gets a victory by default. Just one more week of this shit. The rest of these games are just delayed, but next week is the last week any game can be played. Next week will also wrap up the remaining playoff spots. For the Vibe Train Conference, Eric is win and in, and Abby just needs Zack to lose two and win one, and Jake and Zack need to win out to make it. However, for the Wooga Conference, it's a lot more straightforward. With Sully eliminated, AJ is win and in, and Luke all he needs is a win and AJ loss. Only one more week to go. Who's gonna win, and who's gonna go home? I'm Armored Little Gamerful, and thank you for watching.